Hi, it's Amy here from Nitty.com. Let's take a look at how we can take a pattern that's meant to be viewed on Nitty and save it as a PDF. Let's go to the Chicory Cardigan. Of course, this works with any pattern in Nitty. And you'll see here on the Chicory Cardigan, what we have is a large photo at the top. We call it the beauty shot. And as we scroll down, we have lots more shots. We also have all the charts. In this case, the charts are small enough to fit on screen. They're not uh, links that you have to click to download the charts separately. That makes this PDF process much easier. Let's say we don't want all the photos in our PDF. So what we're going to do is go up to the top of the pattern and you'll see two buttons, print essentials and print everything. So print everything means it'll print every single thing you see on the screen. Print essentials means it'll only print the very first photo and all the charts. So we go to print essentials in this case. And automatically up pops the save as PDF button. There it is, save as PDF. If it doesn't come up like that and it has one of your printers listed, just go and select save as PDF. Now you'll see we have it as portrait, so that's a long vertical orientation. Here's the intro text. And as you scroll down, there's the one beauty shot. And here's all the pattern text, including the charts. No pictures. It's still a 13 page document. So now what we're going to do is save and it's going to save as PDF. I'm going to put it on the desktop so I can find it. Call it chicory.pdf, save. And here it comes. I'm on a Mac. That's why the screen looks like this. Double click. And you'll see basically what we have here is the pattern as I showed you, the intro picture, and all the text. And there's your chart. And there's your second chart. So it's all here. Now you can put this document wherever you need it and refer to it as you wish. So printing a pattern where the chart is small enough to fit on screen is a quite a simple proposition. What do you do if the charts are so large they are on a separate page? Let me show you. In this case, nothing in the current issue has large charts that way. So we're going to go back to the pattern library and we're going to go browse by back, back issues by cover. And in this case, let's pick the winter issue. So here's the winter issue. And if we scroll down, we see Arwen, and it's a beautiful sweater with what is obviously a more complex chart. And so let's scroll down and take a look at that chart. Now we have the beauty shot. We have all these print essentials and print everything button, and then lots and lots more pictures. The issue is if you select print essentials, it's not going to print the charts because they're so big, they're on a separate page. So I'm going to cancel out of here and show you what it would look like if we had printed this as a PDF. You would have this first picture, and then you would have view and download all charts here. Well, that's no help in a PDF, really, although it is a clickable link. So I'll show you how to handle this, and it's actually not hard at all. Go back to the main page. This is the original pattern page. And we go and we click on view and download all charts here. Click it. And there is our chart. Now it fits nicely on the screen. You'll have to ignore this box. That's a function of the recording feature I'm using for my screen. And now what you're going to do is select print. Print brings up the same dialog we saw a moment ago. And what it's showing is the chart. Now it is cut off in this case. So what I might do is change it to landscape. Let's see if that does a better job. And it does. It does, however, bump the smaller part of the bottom of the chart to another page. But it's a PDF. Do we care if it's two pages? I don't really. There's your full chart. There's your second chart. So now we look. Yes, it's save as PDF. All the pages will print. And now you just click Save. And we would call this Irwin Charts. And Mac is smart. It'll often add the PDF without you having to type it in. But I'll do it anyway so that it's clear. So there we go. It's been saved as a PDF. And now you have a separate file that has the more complex charts that don't fit in the pattern document. 